Hey guys, Jeff here with Fat Kids Barbecue. So I decided to go and do some hunting and as I was sitting there out in the wilderness, sitting up in my tree stand, I saw all these bison running by and of course, just couldn't get a shot off at any of them. So went into the grocery store, I did manage to find some ground bison though. How lucky. do is we're just going to make a um, some ground bison sliders sounds good I've got the um, the PK grill warming up outside we're going to use that one today and we'll grill these on it and this is a real simple easy recipe just the hardest part I ever have is getting the stuff out of the package. So, so what we've got, it's really simple. We're going to put some panko breadcrumbs in here. We're going to take one of these eggs. This is, hopefully it's not the hard boiled egg. And I was starting to think it was the hard boiled egg. We didn't get any shell in there this time, so we're lucky. The recipe calls for a little bit of garlic powder. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that. Some fresh ground pepper. Can't go wrong with that. It also calls for some Cholula, or hot sauce that you like. I'm a fan of the Cholula. So it calls for a couple tablespoons, teaspoons, excuse me. So we'll add that in. Then it calls for some Worcestershire sauce. So that's good like that. Now we're gonna roll our sleeves up and we're gonna dive our hands right into this little guy. So all we're making is sliders, so these burgers don't have to be that big. Wow, does that have a nice flavor to it? I can smell that aroma. You don't want to over mix your meat, but you do want to get everything incorporated in here. So it'll give you a nice burger. One thing I like to do is mix it all in. Oh, that's going to be delicious. And sometimes you can add a little more to it if you want. And I think I might. I think I just might add a little more garlic. A little more fresh ground pepper. Try not to get it all nasty. That'll be good. And that's good. Now we'll mix it together. What we're gonna do while the grill's warming up, I just lit it. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes for the chimney to get going is we're just going to make some little patties. Again, we're doing um, sliders. So they're not going to be that big. So these guys will be perfect. I might even get the cast iron skillet out and put them in there. Haven't decided. You could almost do these like you're doing smash burgers, that type of deal. That seems to be the uh, latest fad, smash burgers. These look like they're going to be pretty good. Alright. So we're going to let these guys hang out in the refrigerator for the next probably 15 or 20 minutes. And then when the grill's warmed up, we'll get them out there.
All right, guys, so our grill took about 20 minutes to get up to temperature, just as I thought. So we're gonna put our sliders right on. I decided not to use the skillet. We're just gonna put them right on this guy. I'm gonna shut this lid down for just a few minutes. So I went outside and our sliders got up to temp. They're pretty good here. They're about 145 degrees, so I'm pretty excited about this. So this afternoon I went out to the farm and I made some of these um, sweet Hawaiian slider buns. So it was nice of them to give me this nice packaging to bring them home in. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna reach into here I cut up some lettuce and tomato. I'm gonna to take one of our sliders. I'm gonna put a hunk of lettuce on the top, a slice of tomato, and then my nice buns. Ugh, am I excited about this. So, bison sliders. These guys are, this looks amazing. Wow. I was gonna put some mayonnaise or ketchup or something on it. You don't even need to. This is unreal. Wow. Boy, is that delicious. I will put this recipe down below. So, when you smash that like button down there, right below that, you're gonna see the recipe. So. Thanks guys, if you like what you see, please subscribe to the channel, click the like button, and make these at home. These are unreal. Wow.